Hi everybody, it's Maxine Taylor with your personal forecast for the month of November 2018. Got a lot to share with you. First of all, um, I've got your monthly forecast. In addition, I want to remind you that our summer eclipses are at their peak right now. And so I want to start with, re, with those eclipses and remind you of where they fall in your personal chart. I'm just going to start there, and then we'll go into our usual forecast, okay? Well, remember we had an eclipse uh, July 12th, another July 27th, and the final eclipse was August 11th. These eclipses are in effect until January of 2019. And this is why I'm going over them now. Not just because they're with us till then, but because they are at their peak, October, November, and December. And speaking of that, let me just mention that my um, special, my Crazy Holidays special, in view of everything that has gone on the past week with last week's full moon on Uranus, uh, you are going to want to know your own forecast as in as much detail as possible. Because in order to navigate through the minefield that seems to be in front of us every time we turn around or turn on the news, you want to be secure in your own personal forecast. So just go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com, and all the information is there. All right, let's talk about what these former eclipses are activating in your chart uh, till the end of December, truly, but very, very strongly. Aries, well, your home and family, very, very important to you, as are your friends. And if you have kids, Throw them into the mix. Pets are children too, by the way. So I consider my cat to be my child. She certainly is as demanding as one would be. Um, <laughs> and I love her just as much. as I. And I know you do love your pets too. This is also a time for fun for you, Aries. So go for it. Taurus, terrific ideas whether you're writing the world's greatest uh, novel, doing videos, or just sharing your ideas with people. Your career is moving upward, go for it. And of course, home and family, real estate, are you buying, are you selling, are you just staying at home at night with a remote in your hand, enjoying home sweet home? Gemini, your money, hallelujah, your money and your ability to see a much larger picture and to expand your horizons, as well as your communicative skills. Gemini's a talker anyway, and man, it's triggered now. Cancerians, oh, this is your time to do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want. It's your turn. Now, helping other people get their values straight, very helpful, very important. Try not to hammer them over the head with it, just tell them what they need to do. And your own values and your own money look excellent. Mm, go for it. Leo, you want solitude and privacy. You, your life is your business, it's nobody else's. I'm going to contradict myself because the next eclipse says, get out there and be with the world, be with everybody. So you've got to balance your need for privacy with your popularity with others. And you're doing your thing your way. Your mantra is my way or the highway. Virgo, your friends, so important to you. Your humanitarian side, strongly triggered. And being a friend, very equally important to everything. Your work picture looks good, so does your health. However, you're going to want privacy. we got this privacy thing going. So just be with your friends, go to work, and make sure you have time alone. 
Libra. Your career looks great. Your kids are doing great. It's time for fun and it's time to visit with your friends. Oh, this is wonderful. So you've got both business and pleasure. Scorpio, you see the big picture. Well, you're a psychic detective. Of course you do. Your home and family, very important to you. And your career is excellent. So move into the top slot. No lateral moves, upward moves for you. Sagittarius, well, you are the psychic detective now, aren't you? Just ask the multiverse a question and you get the answers. You might want to keep those to yourself. You know what I mean? You tend to be very honest and just shoot from the hip. And while the answers that you get might be really helpful for you, others might not be as interested. You are ready to spread your wings and soar. So do it. Capricorn, that one-on-one -on -one relationship, whether it's elusive or whether you've got it, it's triggered. Not only that, but if there's nobody special in your life, now is the time to get out there and find them. Yes, your money looks good. And if you're in a contract with someone financially, if you have a, a mutual uh, business that combines money, that's activated very strongly as well. In addition, it's time for a personal transformation. Aquarius, well, your work looks good, your health looks great. You always march to your own drummer and right now is no different than any other time. However, you are giving your attention to the, the people who mean the most to you. The one-on-one -on -one relationship or relationships that are meaningful to you, quite beautiful. And Pisces, it's time for fun. It's time to let out the drama queen and express her. Um, and while your work is very important to you, you really always need solitude so that you can pull back, retreat, and listen to a distant melody. So those are the Summer eclipses, they'll be with us till December, and very strongly too. Now, let me tell you what's going on. I mentioned my holidays special. I'm going <clears> to <throat> give you more detail on that. You'll see why in, in just a minute. Well, actually, you know what? I think I'll do that now. One of the things that is going on celestially right now and when I say right now, today is the 30th of October. Uh, it starts now and Halloween. There is what is called a cosmic cross or a grand cross or a grand square. All three are interchangeable going on between the transiting south node, transiting north node, transiting Uranus and transiting Venus. Now, the full moon that we had last week sat on Uranus and the way it manifested on that very same day on the full moon was that we had pipe bombs that were sent to influential people, um, the people that just so happens that Trump doesn't care for, uh, and of course the culprit was found and is on trial now. However, it was explosive. The reason, I shouldn't say the reason, the bombs never went off and it's probably because Uranus, the planet of explosions, which was triggered by the full moon, full moon and Uranus, both in one degree of Taurus, <clears throat> is part of this grand square, grand cross, cosmic cross, where everything is balanced. You want to know where that falls in your chart, because as Venus moves out of range by the end of November, what we are left with, this is Trump's grand square, 
grand cross. We are left with a T cross. In other words, it's balanced now. But when Venus leaves, this whole area is open and the energy pours into that empty arm of this grand square. You're going to want to know where that is in your chart. There's just too much going on now. Uh, the continuation of that full moon was the unthinkable synagogue massacre this weekend. Because remember, the full moon, the effects of the full moon last for two weeks. <clears throat> well, we've got a little more time. And uh, till the new moon, which is on the 7th. The midterms are on the 6th. I would suggest that if you're not currently watching my Trumpology reports on my YouTube channel, that you might find them very, very helpful because the details that I go into on Trump's chart and the United States chart will be very helpful in helping you decide your path. My specials give you a detailed picture of your path. You can't go by what's going on elsewhere. You have to know what is activated in your chart so that you can put your attention on all the good stuff and increase it. My website is Maxine Taylor. Check out the special. All right. Now, what's going on is that we have a new moon, as I said, on the 7th, the day after midterms. It's in 15 Scorpio, 1511, if you want to be, if you're a Virgo, 15 Scorpio 11. Um, find that in your birth chart, because that is where the action begins for you. Now, we have a full moon, and I'll have my full moon ceremony that day, on the 23rd of November. That's the day after Thanksgiving. Some of you may not be in Atlanta. Actually, some of you who are not here normally might be. It's at seven o'clock at the Phoenix and Dragon bookstore. I hope to see you there. This full moon is in zero Gemini 52. Call it one degree of Gemini. Find that in your birth chart, dear friend, because that is where things come to a head. I love it, don't you? And we will, of course, talk about it at the full moon ceremony. There are usually about 40 people there. Uh, I don't know how it will be this month because people are on vacation or they're recovering from Thanksgiving. <clears throat> but it's always incredible. Not, not because of me, but because of the people who attend. So I invite you to come. There's no charge. So continue. With what all's going on this month, the sun is in intense, powerful, all or nothing Scorpio. So Scorpio, it's your turn till the 22nd when it spreads its wings and soars into out of my way. Uh, I've got to be me. I've got to be free. Sagittarius. Now, Venus, the planet of love and money and beauty is retrograde, as many of you know, until the 16th. It's in lovely Libra, its own sign. So it, it's trying to balance everything and figure out a way of balancing it. Well, it's retrograde. So there's always the unexpected. And with everything going on in our world today, we can expect the unexpected. That's why the security of your own path is very, important now and being in touch with your source within you very important okay so venus goes direct on uh the 16th yay but mercury goes retrograde on the 16th in sag so things are going to be unsettled you're not going to start any new projects till after mercury goes direct on december sixth then it moves forward it comes out of the shadow very quickly and our christmas holidays will be 
minus any retrograde Mercury or Venus. But until then, it's just totally unsettled. Now, once again, Mercury goes retrograde the 16th, Venus goes direct the 16th, Mars is in Aquarius, where it's been all summer, since the summertime. And this is humanity, fighting for humanity. I kind of love that. Uh, the humanitarian side of the world is surfacing. It's awakening. Yes. Now, on the 15th, Mars moves into dreamy Pisces. So Mars, gunfire, war, passion is in I hear a distant melody. I think I'll sit here and dream about it a little bit. Let me think how I can put it into a play and just have a good time. It, you can see it's going to be an interesting time. The 15th, Venus, direct on the 16th. Mercury, retrograde on the 16th. Mars moves into Pisces, excuse me, on the 15th. You watch that mid-month. There's going to be a change in the force field, change in the energy. See where all this falls in your birth chart. If you don't know how to do that, get my special. I'll show you where it'll be the next three months. Jupiter is in Scorpio. Very intense, all or nothing. Jupiter expands whatever it touches. On the 8th, it moves into Sagittarius, its own sign. Yes, this is right after the midterms, okay? Expansion, optimism, truth. The moon is in Sagittarius on the 8th. Can you, these multiples are incredible. It's like a cosmic finger pointing to that point in your chart where you want to see where everything's going on for you. So we have the new moon on the 7th, the full moon on the 23rd, which is uh, the day after the sun moves into Sag. So there's another shift. The 15th and 16th for Venus, Mercury, and Mars. Vital. Unbelievable. So let me tell you, about your forecast, because things can be very exciting for you. If they show up to be awesome, cut off the news for a couple of days and enjoy, get in the feeling and enjoy your three months. And then you'll be able to dip back in to what's going on out there, coming from your source within, your source within. So I'll tell you what's going on. Remember that the, the new moon is conjunct the sun, and so its position is very important in your life. Aries, uh, you are the psychic detective, and by approximately the, oh, I want to say the 21st, 22nd of the month, you will be, you will have received your answers and you'll be ready to fly. Your relationships look really good. Um, very positive, might be meeting new people. My suggestion would be that you get out there and make yourself available. Now, your ability to see the big picture is so strong that you may need to keep your passport current. And you want to be with your friends, but you're going to need your solitude again after the 15th. Now, the full moon encourages travel. Short distance travel, but travel nevertheless, so do it. Taurus, your relationships with other people look really good, and you really want to help them get their act together. This is a very favorable thing. If you've been waiting to start a new job or maybe uh, work on a health issue, perfect this month. However, what you want to keep in mind is that Mars, remember, Mars is action, so I'm emphasizing that. Mars says, keep throwing yourself into your career, but right around, oh, the 15th of the month, spend time with friends. 
And let's talk about the full moon. Your money increases on the full moon. Finances come to a head. Yay. This is terrific. Gemini, your work is important to you, but by the end of the month oh, or after the 22nd, let's say, you are definitely ready to get out there and be with people. You're ready for fun all month. And you want to take your principles and put them into action in your career. Do it. Absolutely. And the full moon says, do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want, because it's your turn and you can. Enough said. Cancerians, well, your children mean the world to you, but so does your fun. So I'm going to tell you to combine uh, work and pleasure. You are a homebody, and being with family at home means the world to you. You have the green light on that this month. Your work picture looks good, as I said, so get busy. And you, very much like Aries, are going to be asking deep, intense questions, and you will get the answers at mid-month, 15th of the month. The full moon says you need time alone. So after the 23rd, or right around the 23rd, I want to say, pull back, retreat, take a spa day or a spa week if you have to, and give yourself time alone. Great, grand, glorious Leo, your home, your family, your kids, very important to you right now. You will, short trips look really terrific, um, especially if you can visit with family members and re reconnect with them, so do it. Um, I do think that uh, your partnerships, whether personal or business, Lots of focus on them early in the month. By the second half, we're talking about mutual finances. Throw yourself into that. Work it out. Buy a lottery ticket. And the full moon says, be a friend to all. Uh, if you're having a party, invite your friends, not just your family. They will make it delightful. Virgo. Terrific ideas the first part of the month, um, but you're going to be more of a homebody after the 22nd. Your money looks good. Your uh, ability to create gifts for yourself, oh, even better. Love it. Home and family, as I said, very important to you. Um, your work and your relationships, real key right now. So throw yourself into your work first. And second half of the month, get out there and be with the people who mean the most to you. And the full moon encourages you to jump into the lead slot. Grab the top slot. Focus on your career. Libra. Money is important, and you can create more of it. Uh, the first part of the month after the 23rd, talk to people, share your ideas. Time to beautify yourself. Now, I know Venus will go direct after the 15th, so that would be the time to do so. <clears throat> Enjoy yourself. The first part of the month, literally the first half, you're ready to party. Second half, you're ready to work. Cool. The full moon says, get on a plane, go someplace far away and have a blast. See the big picture. See options that you didn't know you had. Your, your vista, your view becomes long-term, long-range. I love it. Scorpio, wow, this is great. You're doing your thing your way till the 22nd. After that, you're focused on your money. Ooh, couldn't be better. You want to be alone, especially if there's somebody very important to you. That relationship is private. You may just want to be alone just because you need solitude and privacy. Doesn't matter, just enjoy yourself. And your home and family is very important to you um, till mid-month when it's time to party. If you have kids, they will pick up where home and family left off, though, because they'll insist on your attention. And the full moon uh, on the 23rd really triggers your psychic awareness, your, your natural intuition, and you are the psychic detective. Sagittarius, 
Well, the first part of the month you want to be alone. Second part of the month you want to do things your way. So it's your turn. It's your time. Your friends mean the world to you. And you love being a friend. But you're going to have to balance that between your need for solitude and privacy. And doing things your way. <clears throat> Travel is terrific. The first part of the month. But by the second half of the month, you may want to stay home more. Of course, that's when the holidays are. And the full moon says, get out there and be with that person who means the world to you. If there's not one special person in your life, get out there and find them. Capricorn, the first part of the month, you are a friend to everybody. You love being with them. After the 22nd, you say, go away world, I want to be alone. This is needed because your popularity is so strong. Everybody loves you. Move into the lead slot, and that's why you need your privacy, right? So be sure you get it. Your money is terrific. You can create more of it the first half of the month. Second half of the month, it's time to talk to people. It's time to travel. It's time to communicate. And the full moon says, get busy on your job and your health. Go to the gym. If you're going to pig out on Thanksgiving, you got to prepare, right? Well, actually, this is the day after Thanksgiving. So, yeah, perfect time. Go to the gym. Aquarius. Oh, your career is terrific. Your popularity soars. And you, by the 22nd, you're ready to let the top slot go a little bit so that you can be a friend and be with friends. You love travel right now. I hope you're going someplace wonderful for the holidays. Uh, your friendships, again, vitally important to you. And being a friend, very important. And you're doing your thing your way. You always do. You march to your own drummer. And after the 15th, you can create more money. Oh, yeah. The full moon says party. Now, if you have kids, they'll want in on that action, too. So you're either going to spend time with your friends partying or you're going to spend time with your kids or you're going to do both. And last but not least, Pisces. Oh, take your belief systems and implement them in your career. Take what you believe and take a stand for it publicly. You still want your privacy. That's how it goes. You're really, you have a dream about love and you're able to deal with it this month. Ooh, I love it. And even though your popularity soars, you still need time alone. And this is what Mars says, pull back, retreat, and do what you want. So you're going to be pulled in all directions at once, right? And the full moon says, just stay home, enjoy your family, be with them. Now, uh, some people have asked me, in, in light of everything that's going on in our crazy world, how to stay positive, how to stay happy. Well, that's the, that's the key. Uh, there are some days I, I can't watch the news because it's too upsetting. It's too crazy. And... Uh, we know that it's just going to, it's going to be more of the same. So what I do is I make uh, appointments to visit with friends over lunch or dinner. Uh, I'm part of a trivia group. Some of you know, uh, I contribute what I can. Uh, beautiful people and it's a, a social event. So we really enjoy that. Do you have a hobby? Uh, are you involved in sports? Do you go to the gym? Do what makes your heart sing. Do what makes you happy. This is how you lift yourself. And when you lift yourself, you lift the world. Also, remember that there is a gift in everything that happens. It's hard to see that gift at the time that the uh, issue is going on. But in time, if you'll ask, what is the gift in this? You will be so blown away 
by what you have received. This will lift you to a higher level and you'll be able to share that with the world. So until we meet again, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.